So we're looking at the body paragraph now, which is posted. And what are some of the things, as you read this paragraph by this student, that stood out to you? What was sort of what the first thing you noticed? Well, so when I read this paragraph, I noticed, I always look for a topic sentence, what's their first point? Um, and this student's topic sentence says, in the older story Beowulf, Grendel is constantly described as a monstrous character. And then as I continue to read the paragraph, all of the evidence, each quote, demonstrates how Grendel is described as a monstrous character so it relates in Beowulf. The quotes relate directly to that topic sentence. Yes. Um, what else do you see in there? Um, well, so after they have their topic sentence, um, and they, then they introduce the quote, so the student sets up the context to introduce the quote, um, and then they, they quote their evidence, cite it, and then they explain the evidence. That explaining piece is critical. Uh, a lot of students will put the quote in and then go to another quote. But what I, this student wrote here is after the quote, he says, this immediately prepares the reader to think of Grendel in a negative way. So what that sentence does is it connects the quote from the text to the topic sentence. And he does it in a really sort of clear way. Um, and then basically that's repeated through the second half of the paragraph, where he says, reader's perception of an evil Grendel is further solidified when the poem reads, and he has a quote, and then he explains what that does. Uh, the epic also makes a biblical reference to characterize Grendel. So what sort of tools did you provide students to help them create a really fine structure that for the essay? So when I assign essays, I notice that you know students will have their thesis statement, they'll have their evidence, but then they'll look at me and say, I know what I want to say, but I'm not sure how to say it. So I provided for my students um, an outline for the essay, but what the outline really focuses on more than giving sort of a formula for the essay is a structure for the paragraph. So in this outline, I kind of broke down what goes into a paragraph, starting with the topic sentence. Um, and the outline says that um, topic sentence is the main point of your body paragraph, it should state a topic related to the quotes you're about to use. So after you have your topic sentence, you introduce your first quote, then you explain it, then you analyze how it relates to the topic sentence, then you transition to your next quote. You put your next quote in and then you do it again, explain the quote, analyze, show how it relates to the topic. Now, I didn't just give them this outline, I also gave them some models in class. Um, I'd give the outline and then I would project a paragraph in front of, in front of the class. And normally, my first paragraph it would not be perfect. Um, there'd be a topic sentence, and the first quote would be related to it, but then when it transitioned to the second quote, the connection was unclear. So we'd talk about the paragraph in class. Students would realize, mm, this doesn't quite fit the topic sentence. Right. We would revise, talk about it, and then often I would show a better model that showed how it would flow together nicely. And this just shows students, okay, you have your idea, you have your evidence, this is how you put it together to make an argument, to make a point. And I think what's really a key point is you explicitly taught them how to build an outline. Now, sometimes we say outline, or we'll sort of give them an outline structure and say, here's your outline structure, follow the structure. But you actually gave them the outline structure, but then you taught them how to build it. And you should give them examples of strong and weak outlines. Because if the outline isn't strong, the essay isn't going to be strong. Um, and you it embedded in here those key things that you wanted to see in the essay, the transitions and the support, but also the analyzation. You should analyze the quote. So you really made it hard for them to not have what you wanted them to have. So I think that's a really interesting piece of scaffolding. So in this next video, let's talk about how they transitioned from the outline into actually writing the paragraphs.